In this video, we're going to pit Comcast Home Internet versus Verizon Wireless 4G LTE, and we're going to do a speed test on both devices here. Now, on the left, I have my Asus laptop, and it's running on my wireless network at my house. Now, it's very important that you know what kind of router that I have. I have a Linksys Wireless N dual band router, which is a top of the line wireless N router, and it gives me very fast speeds. On the right, you have my Motorola Zoom tablet, which has Verizon's 4G LTE wireless on it. So what I have pulled up on both devices is speed test. I have speedtest.net, the web app over on the laptop, and I have the speedtest.net Android app on the Motorola Zoom. Now you'll notice on the Motorola Zoom, it's only in one orientation. But for the purpose of this video, so I can show you side by side, I'm going to run that speedtest.net app on the Motorola Zoom in the other orientation. And I'll just read off the results to you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the test and I'm going to run them both at the same time. And they're both running off of the same server in Massachusetts. Now, as is customary on all of my speed tests, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run three separate tests and give you an average at the end. So let's get started. All right, Verizon's completed with the test already. And now Comcast is done. Now it appears that the Comcast download speed is higher, but the Verizon upload speed is higher. Over here on Comcast, I got 19.36 megabits per second in the download speed. Over here, I had 14.81 megabits per second on the download speed. So about four and a half megabits per second faster over here on Comcast. Over here on the upload speed, I got 7.17 megabits per second. And over here for Comcast on the upload speed, I got 3.36 megabits per second. So about double, over double on the upload speed here on Verizon. Now as customary in all of my speed tests, I'm gonna run three tests. So let's start test number two. Now the interesting thing here is that it's a dead on tie for download speeds. Both devices got 16.83 megabits per second in the download. But again, like the first test, the Verizon Wireless LTE 4G is about a little over two times faster in the upload speed. I got upload speeds of 7.36 megabits per second over on Verizon Wireless and 3.38 megabits per second on Comcast. Let's do our third and final test and then give you the average. Okay, very interesting. Over here on Verizon Wireless, I actually have faster speeds on both. My download speed is 17.1 megabits per second. Over here on Comcast, I have 16.48 megabits per second. So about 0.5 megabits per second faster over here on Verizon. I also have the upload speed, which is pretty much consistently twice as fast as the Comcast upload speed. The upload speed over here is 7.1 megabits per second. And over here on Comcast, I have 3.37 megabits per second on the upload speed. So very interesting results. So as you can see, the speed on Verizon Wireless 4G LTE is very comparable to home internet speeds, which is pretty amazing. The only drawback is, is that you pay more for your internet with Verizon Wireless. Right now I'm on a one gigabyte plan over here, which I pay $20 a month for. Over here, I think the cap is 250 gigabytes. So you get much more value over on Comcast at the moment. So that's pretty much the drawback of using a wireless carrier for home internet. But the speeds are very impressive over here on Verizon Wireless, very comparable to what you can get in your home or even better in some cases. So that pretty much does it for this video. Now in my next video, I'm gonna show you another speed test of Verizon Wireless versus Comcast. But this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the Verizon Wireless 4G LTE versus Comcast plugged directly into the modem, direct wired connection. So no wireless, so we can compare the two in that scenario. 
So that pretty much does it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.